where there's no feeling like at the end of a case, everything is absolutely perfect. And being able to see well allows you to go to that place. And it's probably the best thing of my operating day is being able to sit down and look through this microscope. This Sogstrike microscope was the one that I hand chose for our surgery center because I'm doing such complex surgery, such as going into the vitreous, doing a complete pars vitrectomy, doing a, a myriad of scleral fixations, uh, iris repairs, uh, DMEC corneal transplant. All these things require excellent visualization and that's why I chose the Hogstrike scope. Every part of that microscope, especially the optics, is absolute quality and precision made in Germany. For those of us that do eye surgery, it's all about the ability to see. And this microscope just hits the ball out of the park for us. But the first thing you notice when you look into the microscope is uh, incredible contrast, incredible depth of field, incredible colors. And the more true the colors and the contrast are, the better job you're gonna be able to do for the patient. These are things we look for because I need this microscope to work every time the correct way. People's vision depend on it. The depth of field for this microscope is absolutely stunning. Things are in focus from the surface of the cornea to well past the posterior capsule. I rarely refocus through an entire case, be it glaucoma, cataract, or cornea surgery. Once I get my central point of focus set, 99 out of 100 times, I don't retouch the focus button unless I change my magnification. So one of the really nice features of this microscope are the illumination levels. Most of my cases I do at 20% illumination. The illumination is so bright and so nice we can take it down and I can also control the color temperature of the illumination to exactly what it is I want. It's also safer for the patient. I think the most important thing when we talk about color balance is just seeing the true color of what we're looking at. We want to see a nice crisp red reflex. We want to see the edge of the cornea. We want to see that viscoelastic retained in the eye. When we're talking about microinvasive glaucoma surgery, it can be very difficult to notice subtle shades of red or brown when you're looking into the angle and trying to determine what is Schlem's canal, what is trabecular meshwork, what is scleral spur, what is slurry body. These are subtle shades in some eyes and you need proper chromatic aberration correction in your lenses. You need the proper wavelength of light passing through your microscope to see these details. The red reflex in this microscope is absolutely stunning and the red reflex is the canvas against which we work. It's also brilliant off axis. So if the eye moves or if you have to move the scope for one reason or the other, you maintain the red reflex even if it's not directly on axis. With the microscope we used previously during certain parts of the surgery, the red reflex disappears like a nuclear disassembly. With this microscope, the red reflex persists and it makes it easier for us to do our job. The Hogstrite scope just has a number of features that have been just so carefully thought out everything from the quality of the optics, the ease of moving the scope, the programming of the foot pedal, the ergonomics. Well, the ergonomics of this microscope are really one of its very best features. The microscope adapts to me. It makes it comfortable, and by the end of the day, I'm not worn out. That's huge. It used to be that I had to take a break every few cases, stretch my neck, and you know, even put a hot pack on my back. And now I can operate case after case without soreness in my neck or shoulders. When we look at the length of the oculars in the Hogstrite scopes, they've spent a great deal of time working on the ergonomics and reducing the amount of neck and back pain uh, that we have during a surgical day. Ergonomics is going to allow me to extend my career, and we all know that they're not an ophthalmologist, not only in the United States, but really around the world. I think if all of us can extend our career, we can help people even more. So we need to be efficient, we need to be smooth, we need to have longevity in our career so that we can do all the surgeries that need to be done.